I'm sure you all are aware, the coronavirus has very unfortunately spread. And there seems to be this massive shortage of personal protective equipment. Things like medical grade masks, for example. The medical grade equipment that is available should of course be reserved for frontline workers. So if you're like me and you're on lockdown at home, maybe you go out to the supermarket once a week, making your own face mask is a really, really good thing to do. And I'm going to show you what I think is the best way to do it. With a sewing machine or without one, I will show you both ways of making it. So the first thing you want to do is hop online and print out the template for the mask. This is completely free and I'll leave a link in the description for you. Then cut out your desired size. For your material you want some cotton because this is tightly woven yet breathable and can be washed at a really high heat disinfecting it. You also want two different styles of fabric so that you can tell the difference between the front and the back of your mask and avoid contamination. Lay your pattern piece flat on top of two layers of fabric and trace out the shape. Then cut through both of those layers. Repeat this with the other style of fabric that you have. You should now have four cutouts in total, two from each fabric. Get ready to start sewing because you know what's coming up next. <laughs> Sew down this curved edge. Remember to flip your fabric so its right sides are facing and sew down the curve one centimetre away from the edge. And of course, repeat this on the other fabric. The next thing we want to do is snip along this curved edge, making sure not to cut through any of the stitches that we made. The reason that we do this is so that the fabric isn't stretched or distorted as it's lying in the curved position. Next, you want to fit your mask to your face, since that is where it's going to be. So grab your elastic or string and measure how much you will need for the mask to sit snugly and comfortably. Mine came to about 6 inches on each side. Pin your elastic or string 1 centimeter away from the top and bottom edges of the mask, but have it sitting flush against the sides like this. And of course, repeat on both ends and make sure you don't twist your elastic. Grab your other bit of fabric and lay it right sides together on top, making sure that the edges match, pin them in place, and what you want to be sure of is that your elastic or string is sandwiched nice and neatly in between those two layers of fabric. Grab some chalk or a pen and mark out a two inch section at the bottom of the mask. Okay, and we're back to sewing. Start at the first marker point and sew one centimeter away from the edge, pivoting at the corners. Sew all the way around the mask and stop when you reach the other marker point. It should look something like this. Sew in all the way around the edges with a little gap at the bottom. You want to use this little gap to flip the whole mask so that the right side is now facing the outside and all of our ugly seams are enclosed. The elastic should be coming out right at the corners. All that's left to do is to seal up this little gap, so stitch it closed as close to the edge as you can. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have just made a face mask. So I know I am modelling this for you, but I do want to point out that it's actually a bit big for me. As you can see, it doesn't fit properly at the sides, top or bottom. Now, your mask should sit very snugly and flush against your skin all the way around, just like this smaller one I made for myself. If you don't have a sewing machine, that is okay, you can still make one. And here is how. We start the exact same way by tracing the shape cutting it out, of course, in two different styles of fabric. Then you simply grab a needle and thread and sew down that curve like we did before, but you're using a needle and thread and not a machine. If you're not sure how to hand sew, I'll leave a few links in the description for you to help you out, but honestly, it's so easy and it just takes a little bit longer than the machine. Snip your curves just as we did before and pin on your elastic in the exact same places, one centimeter away from the top and bottom edge, but flush against the sides and nicely sandwiched in between those two layers of fabric. Once again, mark out your two inch gap at the bottom of the mask and sew all the way around one centimeter from the edge, of course, missing out that gap that we just marked. Use that gap to flip the mask so that the right side is facing the outside and all that is left to do is to close up that little gap with a final row of stitching. And there you have it, your very own hand sewn face mask. I hope you're proud of yourself. 
I'm proud of you. If you do this, please, please do it. Okay, so if you really can't sew and you're desperate, you can staple one of these together. It's the exact same process, but instead of sewing, you staple it nice and tightly. Now, I don't personally recommend stapling one of these, but I just wanted to make sure that there was a way that everyone could make one, even if you can't sew. Of course, I need to say, these are homemade masks. They are not medical grade masks, but I still think they are very much worth you taking the time to make them and of course, wear them. Some protection is much better than no protection. One of the things that these masks do is that when you're out, they stop you from touching your face, which is a massive way that the virus is spread. And to be honest, in this climate, it's kind of hard to argue against why wearing a face mask is a good idea. I really hope that you found this video clear and helpful, but yeah, stay safe, stay home if you can, and yeah, I hope you make some masks. Bye.